pretty cool to get a teacher to come up with a play about recycling, isn't it? Yeah, I'm good for the environment. Yeah, you are. Sabrina! Hey, Emma! I miss you. When are you gonna babysit me again? Well, you've been having a rough time, and I, I sympathize, that's all. Really? No angle? Nothing? From one parent to another. I was a little nervous leaving you alone with Libby. I thought there might be some bloodshed. Here. Well, we had a decent time. Talked about a few things. Yeah? What things? You. What about me? Not just you. You and me. It happened on New Year's Eve. Okay. Well, you already told me you spent the night with Maxie. Yes. But what I didn't tell you... is that I slept with her. You slept with Maxie. I did. No. Yes. No. My suggestion, start with what you're going to tell Dante and Lula. Hey. Hi. Uh, tell Dante and Lula what? You're back! Yeah, we came straight from the airport here. Well, how's your dad? Did you find him? Uh, leave it to him to get shot in a prison riot. Oh, oh my god, is he okay? Uh, he was shot in the arm, but he's fine. I was trying to bring him here to get checked out, but he insisted on going straight to Siena. I, I didn't want to tell you over the phone, but no. Robert's in a coma. A coma? Yeah, yeah. Holly's with him. How did it happen? It was... That woman at the clinic, Dr. Obrecht, do you remember her? She injured him. Oh, God, yes. You don't forget a character like that. Exactly. What were you doing back there? Well... Rescuing me? Face on you, son of a bitch. You oh, stay no, away no, from no, her! No, 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 face. Halloween's so... over. Get the mask off. It's not a mask. But you said Face on was using a laboring yes, mask. Yes, well, how else could he do it? Oh, Duke. Duke, what? You're saying Lavery is still alive? Yes. This is Duke Lavery. Well, you must be relieved that you found Luke and that he's home. Very relieved. Hey, hey. So, a, a prison riot? How would Luke get messed up in something like that? I don't, this is a really long story and it's not important. How are you? Obviously, I'm great. I'm standing here. So, so Luke got shot. Is it bad? Dr. Westbourne, you said that Maxie needed to tell us something about the baby. The baby is fine. I'm sensing a butt in there. Don't be silly. But what? What could be wrong? No, you're acting really weird right now, and you were acting really weird on the phone. You called me from a Turkish prison, and you think I was acting weird? Alrighty. So, it's good to be back. Maxie, we're really happy everything's going well with you. Is she telling the truth? Okay, we just thought we were gonna uh, trim back off a little bit. Oh my god, are you seriously subjecting me to one of Olivia's psychic screenings? Because that's rude. D don't worry. Honey, I got nothing. As perceptive as Olivia can be, want accurate medical information, you've got your doctor right here. Is everything okay with the baby? As painful as it is for you to hear it and as painful as it is for me to say it, I, I, I slept with Maxie on New Year's Eve. But why? Well, you and I agreed that if if you didn't show up on the hospital roof at, at the appointed time, it would be a signal that you didn't want to be with me. And so when you didn't appear, I I came to the lamentable and, and, and an erroneous conclusion that we were over. And I, I was somewhat inebriated because I had imbibed peppermint schnapps in an attempt to keep warm. And then in, in my despair, I finished the bottle and... Became thoroughly pixelated. And then what? You thought, oh, here's my chance. I'm just going to go have sex with Maxie. No, 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 no. I, I only wanted you. But but you you weren't there. So instead of trying to look for me, you just scamper off to Maxie? No, Ellie, there was no scampering. I, I, I tried to call you, I, as your phone records will attest, but then I... I, 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 took, you, I took you at your word. And in my admittedly fuzzy state, I... I felt my only recourse was to respect your decision and consider our coupledom done. And then what? How did you wind up in bed with Maxie? You want to be honest? At 
with it. I want the entire story, every gory detail. You gonna tell me what you live with saying about you and me, or? No, it's nothing. It's just girl talk. Okay. Now I was just saying that you know you're a hard man to figure out. I'm a, I'm a hard man to figure out. Yeah. Because I treat you like dirt, and you're here. Oh. Ever since the accident, you've been nothing but good to me. You paid my bail. You helped me with my son. Convinced me to let him go. You even made sure I had a few minutes with him at the end to say goodbye. Why? Why are you suddenly here in my corner? Are you giving me a hard time because I'm treating you like a human being? No. I'm trying to tell you that I owe you. You haven't told her. Told me what? waiting for the right time. I think it needs to be now, so there are no unrealistic expectations and no one gets disappointed. All right. Um, hey, listen. Uh, Sabrina's not going to be able to babysit you anymore. Why? Okay, okay. Dr. Drake said that I, I tried to kiss him. It was highly inappropriate. I mean... How can you expect him to keep that to himself? But that's not at all what happened. Well, it's how Patrick saw it. Bottom line, Sabrina, you're making Patrick very uncomfortable. Don't you like us anymore? Emma, of course I like you. I love you. Then why can't you come over anymore? Emma, Sabrina's really busy. She's working at the hospital and she's studying for a nurse's exam, so she just she doesn't have enough time to babysit right now. But what about the nurse's ball? You said we would all be in it together. Are you too busy for that now, too? The baby Maxie's carrying is doing fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this baby. See? So could you please just relax a little? Please, please. I mean, you're my best friend and I love you, but you're taking hovering to a whole new level. I'm so sorry. I am I just worry. I just, I just want everything to be okay. Okay. Maybe uh, I would help Maxie's stress level if we didn't interrogate her. Okay, time. you don't have to say we. We know it's me. I'm trying to relax. Okay. How about if we just rely on Dr. Westmore for all of our pregnancy updates? I'm thinking she's probably a lot more reliable than my visions. So. Can I quote cool you on <laughs> So, you guys were talking about something, and you said Maxie you had something to tell us? I, I was on the hospital roof. Al alone. In despair. Clutching my near-empty bottle of peppermint schnapps. My life in shambles. Okay, cut to the chase. When did Maxie show up? Well, midnight had come and gone. I was... I, again, alone on the roof, um, contemplating the uncaring stars. I, I, I heard footsteps, and I, I, I leapt up because I, I thought, I thought it was you. But it, but it turned out to be Maxie. I knew it. I knew it. Maxie came looking for you. No, in fact, she was quite surprised to see me. No, she wasn't. She knew that you and I had planned a rendezvous on the roof. She knew that I was on my way to see you. Oh, my God. Ugh. I went to my room to get ready, and I left Maxie on the couch. And while I was showering and drying my hair, she knew that I couldn't hear what she was up to. Okay, I I'm sorry. I don't understand how that relates oh to my God. my encounter with her hours later on the roof. Maxie obviously tampered with my car. She arranged to come in my place so that while I was getting mowed down by Connie Falconeri's car, she was having sex with you. Ellie, that's, that's, that's not true. I mean, first, Maxie doesn't know the difference between a spark plug and, and, and a radiator hose. But more importantly, look, no, she would not, she would not sabotage you or me in such a manner. You know Maxie better than I do. Can you honestly look me in the eye and promise me that she wouldn't do anything underhanded to get her own way. Forget it, Con. You don't owe me anything. I, I do. No, I owe no. you a very big thank you for what you did for me. 
I, I, okay, maybe you didn't do it for me. Maybe you, you were being nice because you thought Kate was going to come back. I don't care. I don't, whatever. But I was falling down and you helped me up. I can be ruthless, right? But I'm capable of compassion. You were hurting and I wanted to help. And I owe you a thank no, you. No, you don't owe Sonny, me Sonny, let anything. me tell you that I want to thank you, please. I don't say thank you that often. Okay. Thank you. Say it was okay. I, I... Jeez. It's not how I meant to say it. Thank you, Sonny. No, oh, Faison is in a cell in Geneva. And, and if you don't believe me, then, then call Interpol. Oh, better yet, go online. Because his capture made all the European papers. And there's no chance that this could be another mind game? No, no, I, there isn't really. I mean, I can understand why you would doubt me, because I have plenty of reasons to doubt myself. But, but this, this is Duke. I, I apologize for the confusion. It's not your fault. It's nobody's fault. We've all just been Faison's puppets. It's going to take us a while to adjust. Well, how did this happen? And how do you know that this is the real guy? Well, because Faison said that Duke was in prison in Turkey. And, and remember that story checked out? That's because he was. He was there. Yes, for two decades. Well, I was supposed to have entered the witness protection program, but it was a trap, so I was left to rot in jail. But Faison found him first. Well, he did, and I mean, as a matter of fact, I was grateful when he first took me to Switzerland because I was in pretty bad shape. I, I, I needed medical attention, and, and I also needed physical therapy. But then when Faison introduced himself to me, I, I realized that my salvation had come at a very at a very high price. You see, then, then Faison, he, he made a, a, a mold of his face, and um, they duplicated his fingerprints. Faison studied his mannerisms, the way he talked, and he got all these personal details about our life together. And well, I also fed him some false memories. I wanted to sell clues to Anna, but uh, he was pretty determined. He was obsessed, and he was convinced that his plan was going to work. He was convinced that Anna would accept him as me, and he would take his place in my life, assume my place beside Anna. And I was... I was vulnerable. And he knew that. And he fed me a lie that I wanted to believe. There's no way you could have seen this coming. Well, you did. Yeah, Anna told me that you were the first to suspect that Faison was an imposter. It's uh, thanks to you that I'm here. I just wish I could have been in Switzerland for the takedown. I would love to have been the one to rip the mask off that maniac's head and expose him for what he is. It's because of you that I'm here. And more importantly, that Anna is free and safe. I thank you for that. I thank you most sincerely.